one thing that we learned today is just how difficult it is to clean up in Alaska. We were lucky enough to have a whole crew of people come out and clean with us, uh, but we were still only able to get to probably maybe 400 yards of beach or maybe a little bit more than that over the past couple of days. We cleaned up a ton of stuff, but only in a really small area. But there are plenty of places in Alaska that are a lot harder to get to. Um, even today, we tried to get to a couple places where there were big um, styrofoam buoys or foam pieces of foam that had washed ashore. We couldn't get there because there was no easy way to land. Uh, and that's certainly going to be the case for a lot of the Alaska shoreline. Um, Alaska, I think it, it has to be said, is just a huge state. We've got more coast than the rest of the country put together. Dealing with marine debris in Alaska is huge, not only because of the scale, but also the fact that it's relatively inaccessible. So if we can take some of the stress off the ecosystem by removing marine debris as a stress, it will help uh, the ecosystem deal with all the other stresses that it has going on. You know, one of the important things is um, to just be aware of what we're using, cut down on single-use plastics, cut down on the bags that we use, and recognize that marine debris is a, a problem that we're, we're all part of and it's something that we can all take responsibility for.